Join the conversation with the Morning Majlis. Pulse95. I don't think I've ever seen my co-host <laughs> Louis Dunham this excited. I am ever. I can't on the hold show. it in. I can't hold it in. I'm so this excited. This is like the most excited you've ever been and the most passionate you've ever been. Off air and probably now on air. Yeah. Because we're gonna be talking about a personality yep. that is apparently I mean uh, maybe I've been I'm the only one that's been under a rock that I have never heard of before mm-hmm. which is very surprising yeah um, but f- you told me about this personality off air and you're like Rania how can you not know about this celebrity he's massive and he's massive he, at and least now I feel kind of words. ashamed after after you showed me videos and you mm-hmm. told me about it about him and and we asked a lot of um, colleagues as well about him and they all seem to know him except me so I'm the shame in this yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you don't know about him. He's he's a, a TV personality, but also a bit of a wildlife expert. And I he's a he's a, the ultimate adventurer. He is definitely the ultimate adventurer. Now I I, I asked the listeners out there. Mm. I said, who is coming or who has just been confirmed as coming to this year's IGCF 2024? Yeah. And I gave you four options. Mm-hmm. I said. Is it A, Gordon Ramsay? Is it B, Bear Grylls? Is it C, Cristiano Ronaldo? Or is it D, Gord, uh, uh, Daniel Craig? Okay, Daniel so Craig. I thought, I thought, yeah. um, without going through the list, I was like, okay, Golden Ramsay. Yeah, yeah. Gordon yeah. Ramsay. Cristiano Ronaldo, no way, okay. to be honest. Okay. Um, and then I've never heard of Bear Grylls. You've never heard of Ben Grylls. I'm really sorry. Well, I think if it was Gordon Ramsay. And that, Ramsey, is, the, that is the celebrity that's going to be coming. Gordon, yeah. yeah. To the uh, 13th edition of the International Government Communication Forum. Mm-hmm. He's coming to the Expo Center Charge. Of course, we are very excited for this event that is coming um, in September. <clears throat> September, excuse me, September 4th to 5th. Um, and, of course, it is organized by the Sharjah Government Media Bureau, and it's set to be this extraordinary showcase of um, visionary leaders who are changing the world through their unique journeys and impactful stories. And, of course, I cannot wait. You got me so excited. Um, I First of all, I love this event. This is my yeah. favorite event of the whole year. Mm-hmm. And to the point where I was supposed to take my actually annual leave that same week and i said no way i'm gonna miss out on igcf so i did it Mm -hmm. um so that's another thing and uh another fact is the fact that uh bear grills happens to be a massive personality and i've never heard of him and i really now want to meet him and we're gonna get a chance to meet him i'm gonna send you some clips later on into uh, today regarding some highlights from his tv show right if you if you're a listener out there and you're like ronnie who doesn't know who bear grills is Mm -hmm. he basically is an explorer he's an adventurer he's a survival enthusiast that when he gets dropped into wilderness maybe the arctic maybe a rainforest he explains to you through his tv show well, with a cameraman with him, how you can survive off of just pure nature. What to do, what not to do, and how to really pull through. And it's hit her kind of a for a lot of people. Away, kind of a vibe. Very much so, very yeah. much so. Um, and it, it, it hit home for a lot of people, and it was a hit back in the United Kingdom, that he actually made a um, one for the celebrities. It's called Running Wild with Bear Grylls. And he's had people like Zac Efron, Channing Tatum, and even uh, ex-president Barack Obama on Whilst his show. Whilst he was president. Yeah. And, and, and he brought them out. What he does is he does three or four days with them in a specific environment, whether that is in the icy Arctic or whether that is in the uh, desert or in the rainforest. And he makes them kind of live and explore those areas mm. and puts them through some real, real treacherous conditions and pushes them to their limits that you see a different side of the celebrities. It is so good. It's so good. And I really like that they've chosen him because in terms of communication, what I'm looking at it is... He communicates as, with nature. He communicates with nature, <laughs> but he also communicates uh, something that is so important, which is, you know, us as normal human beings having that survival instincts pushing our limits and getting us in touch with nature and also making us think about things that we probably would never think of before that's true so it's it's that way of communicating that we would probably never even ventured into if it wasn't for someone like Bear Grylls but he does some quite disgusting things as you said he does well survival can be disgusting you know Mm. if you are put to your limits if you're put to the test in order to survive unfortunately you might not 
be able to order a Big Mac that is around the corner if you're stuck in the Arctic. You might have to eat a, or, or drink certain things. And he does do that. You know, he does do that. But in, in terms of having to survive, it's, it's, a, it's a unique person that they have brought to the table. And I'm really excited to see what he brings to this IGCF. Abdul Krim, you've heard it of him It kind before, of remi- right? reminded me of uh, the Netflix um, film uh, Society of the Snow. Very much, very much so. Right? Maybe not. I mean, it's based off a true story. Yeah, but. that's based off a true story. Uh, but he does it on a natural aspect in terms of, you know, okay, let's use that as an example. Mm. Survive, uh, survival Snow. Obviously, they, they crash in the Andes. They have to use what's around them. Less of the carnivore side yeah, of things, yeah, yeah, yeah. but more like he would he would teach you how you can change that snow in freezing conditions into drinkable water. Mm. Uh, he would say, right, go to this certain height, go to this certain peak where you will find a specific species which mm. you can eat. If you dig around this part, you will find a plant. This plant is unedible, but this plant is edible. Okay. So it, it, it's incredibly educational. I'm so excited. I can't, I can't even <laughs> explain to you. Abdul Krim, you know Bear Grylls, surely. Yeah, well aware of him. I think he's, he's quite a, a massive TV personality for, for many fans and, and TV viewers back in the UK. Um, and uh, we've actually got an adventure park named after him. It's true. And actually, he started it here in Ras Al Khaimah. He was actually here for the inauguration of that particular adventure park. So they, there you get a chance to do some of the survival co- courses as well. So you go through, spend a decent amount of time in the wilderness, in, in the mountains, and you try to live off minimal things mm. eating worms for example yeah so it's not an easy thing it is really uh, i think he'll, he'll have a great story because what he's basically turned it is his passion into his life and, in, to, and, and inspire for change it's not like hey look at me i'm bear grills i can eat worms and survive on minimal food it's more about uh, showcasing and, and and talking about the importance of conservation mm-hmm. and importance of also uh, uh, talking about n- protecting mother nature so that's why he's great at that. Yeah. So I think it'll be a great uh, uh, conversation to listen into. Another one will be Maya Ghazal, who's a Syrian girl, bec- became the first refugee to earn a commercial pilot's license as well. So a lot of inspiring stories to take back from the IGCF. I think it's going to be a great event for a lot of people who want to just d- turn up and, and listen into these individuals. Um, another person is uh, a, a Canadian star, Zachary uh, Zachary Derinovsky, mm. um, global Canadian star renowned for the, uh, the humanitarian content on social media, inspired 30 million followers with his impactful videos on mental health, kindness and charity. So I think in two days of IGCF, there's so much you can take back. It's a free entry to enter an event. All you have to do is register through the mm. IGCC.ae website and get a chance to tune in and, and join some of these great conversations. And this year's um, theme is going to be Agile Government's Innovative Communication. And that just underscores the crucial role of effective um, communication in mm. shaping a much better future for all of us. So whether you're interested in adventure or uh, overcoming adversity or just communication or the power of kindness IGCF 2024 does promise to be a treasure trove of inspiration and insight and I'm pretty sure that we will be more excited now that Bear Grylls is going to be showing up Honestly, <laughs> we'll go back to Bear Grylls yes. you're so excited I am so excited because this <laughs> year's IGCF particularly they're really focusing on students or yeah. just young ones young minds mm-hmm. And I think the idea of uh, attracting talents or, or personalities like Zakaria Deranowski or, of course, Maya Ghazal, but then let alone Bear Grylls, they all are influential when it comes to the youthful scene and people might know them, they're celebrities. So it's going to draw an even bigger crowd when we're talking about students wanting to attend, mm. which is then going to have an even bigger knock-on beneficial effect when we come to the future of Sharjah. So they're just doing it right this year. Yes, Bear Grylls for me is that A-lister that I'm really <laughs> excited to see. And AK, you said something there. He's going to tell a story and oh, he's yeah. going to talk about mm. pushing your body to it the, to the limits. That's what he does. Not only that, but also survival, the aspect of survival exactly. in general. We should highlight more on that because survival mm-hmm. is not just about going to a boot, boot camp or trying to survive in a jungle. Mm-hmm. It's because when we think of survivor mm-hmm. as a survivor or survival, uh, we always think of, oh, we're stranded on an island and we want to survive. Yeah. But it's much more than that. It's much deeper than that. Mm-hmm. We're all survivors in our own form mm-hmm. or way, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think it should touch home for for a lot of people. If he talks about that aspect of surviving your everyday, not just 
in the wilderness. No, no, and he does. You yeah. Know, he he doesn't just say, "Could you physically do it?" Yeah. He says, "Mentally, Could you mentally, mentally." Do that? It's all about the mental. And he says state. the mental challenge of actually, you know, going through that survival process, right. regardless of what you're going through, yeah. is the hardest part. Physically, you, you're probably more more or less likely to do he it. Can, he can is easily turn turn this conversation into a sentimental 100%. conversation rather than just talking about the physical stress yeah. and strain that he went through. And, and you know, yeah. one thing that I, I would advise everyone to do pre-IGCF uh, is go watch his episode with ex-president Barack Obama because they focused on environmental and mm. sustainability and preservation they actually visited a glacier and that's what he is an advocate for he's an advocate for mother nature he's an advocate for preserving it and he's an advocate for being sustainable so it's a great little pre prelude to this year's igcf can you tell i'm excited i can definitely <laughs> tell